In this video we are going to check out one of the more affordable motherboards, that's B760 Pro RS DDR4 model. So this does not support DDR5, this comes with DDR4 support, which is still nice to have for some, you know, budget builds. DDR4 after all is very cheap compared to DDR5. As for the specifications, this thing comes with 7 plus 1 plus 1 power phase design, 3 M.2 SSD slots, but two of those are X4 and one of those is X2. All of them Gen 4. Let's open it up and see what's inside. It is packaged well with additional padding for safe and secure transportation. Uh, this is that's all the accessories in a separate bag. And I already know this, but yeah, there's nothing else in there. All the accessories are in here. So let's let's put this box to the side for now and check out what comes with the motherboard. And it isn't much, it's just the bare minimum. Not that I'm complaining, because the price of this motherboard is quite low. So we get two SATA cables and all the M.2 screws that we need, as well as the manual. As always, it is well illustrated as it should be. Let's have a look at the motherboard itself. I would just like to show you that this motherboard does come well packaged. As you can see, a lot of padding. And also it is secured with zip ties on all four corners. So I'll cut those and be right back. And here is the motherboard unpacked. It looks pretty good for such a cheap motherboard, I must say. And also, one more thing that I really like is that even on the cheaper ones, the I.O. comes pre-installed. Yes, this is very nice because, if you know me, <laughs> I hate messing around with these things where you have to like push it in yourself or and then all these things may not align properly. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. Don't like it. I love this. Pre-installed is the way to go. But let me remove that protective film. Yes. And let's have a look. What do we have in terms of the I.O.? Okay, this is actually quite nice because it uh, continues with the theme. This is silver with like grey accents. It's a good looking I.O. shield. Okay, so we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven type A ports and one type C. Display port, HDMI, 2.5 gigabit LAN, which seems to be uh, the bare minimum now, even for the cheaper models. And also these holes right here are for, um, you can use that for the Wi-Fi antenna. This motherboard doesn't come with Wi-Fi pre-installed, but there is this thing right here, this little tiny thing, M.2 Wi-Fi. Connect a Wi-Fi module here, route the cables through there, and uh, you got yourself a Wi-Fi enabled motherboard. I think uh, these Wi-Fi modules cost like 20 to 30 dollars. I'll link one in the description below if you're interested. And uh, yeah, the motherboard will also be linked in the description below. Okay, and also the usual stuff, all the audio stuff, that's, uh, that's there as well. 
but it does come with a pretty basic audio, although it's good enough. It's good enough for normal use, but check this out. The PCB is glossy, so that's less, that's less nice, but you know, the price, for the price, you have to make some sacrifices. Let's have a look at the back of it. Again, nothing fancy, glossy black PCB. Next up is CPU power delivery system. So it is powered by 8-pin plus 4-pin connector. And also we get nice heat sinks on the top one as well as the side one. Check it out. These are quite big for such a modest motherboard. Impressive. That's why I like ASRock. They don't skimp out on, on the cooling. They give you plenty. It's like with this thing right here. It extends all the way here. This is metal. And uh, even though it doesn't extend all the way over the I.O., it still looks much nicer than some of the other models that you may see on the market, especially from the previous years. So I like this trend. Cover this up. You know, pretty good. As for the NVMe M.2 SSDs, you get uh, the Gen 4 X4 under here. So that's the heatsink to cool it. It is thick enough. Then you get another one of those over here. And this is the, uh, yeah, this is the X2 thing right here. So if you want uh, the best performance, you put your main SSD here and secondary SSD here. Only then consider using this because, yeah, <clears throat> this one will be faster. If you are interested in connecting via SATA, we get actually four slots for that. One, two. And two on, on the side here. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to mention that this motherboard is uh, limited to Gen 4 PCIe, so that's PCIe 4.0, although this slot comes reinforced with metal. And, of course, four DDR4 slots, oh, yeah, only opens from this side, so no convenience of opening that one up. Still, it's fine. It's a budget motherboard. What do you expect? If you are connecting your case fans to the motherboard directly and not via the hub, you will be happy to know that there are a lot of connections here. So that's one, two, three, four at the top. One more over here for, you know, your uh, rear fan. And also, let me check, let me check, one, two, another two. So that's two, three, seven in total. That's very nice. Usually, you know, at this price range, <laughs> you don't get as many fan connectors. And for the RGB, uh, one and two addressable, and also two. So that's one here and one up here. A regular RGB LED connection. Over here you get your fast USB connection to the front panel, also as the uh, this one as well, the regular one. Okay, yeah, I think uh, this about covers it. Let's just have another look, another good look at this motherboard. Yeah, for a budget motherboard, it's pretty good. I do like the design. 
and the fact that it has a lot of fan connectors. Oh, and of course, the pre-installed I.O. shield. I love that. Thumbs up. Okay, let me know in the comments below what do you think about this motherboard. Do you like it? If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more like it. Yeah, it was I, Vadim. Until next time.